Hello everyone, my name is Ashish Sharaji and let's check in today's video how to print two slides per handout per page with the help of PowerPoint and we will see how to create the chart and insert it on our PowerPoint area. So this is the one end product what you can check on my screen. What we need is click on file, click on open. As soon as you click on open, go to the browse area at the directory where you have your file and remember in this area, your all files supposed to be ticked. Then only you will be able to get all your files. Once you open your file area, immediately you have to go to the view and just in this area, go to the slide master. Once you are in slide master, you have to edit on master slide. In the master slide area, the page number, what you can check at the right area itself or the bottom area itself, you can put it at the top corner, at the left corner. Now what you need is insert of the page header or the footer area you need. So the footer area just apply the footer and write your name once you have given your candidate number and the name over here just write the center number. Once you are satisfied with your work make sure you can write in this uh, your name properly and now apply to all. Once it's been done, simply you have to click on slide master and close master view. Now the slide which you need to delete as per your paper, you can right click over here and delete the slide. Now next process is you have to jump to the Excel area where you have to select the thing which you don't require. Like for example, this column we don't require, select the particular cells based on which you require to generate your chart. So for example, we need this particular cell. So select the month, whichever the high and the low data you require and select the number of month. So we need May to September. So select that particular month only and now click on insert. There you have option to select it out to which all the type of the things you want or the type of the chart you want. Now you can see once I have clicked on my chart, I am receiving all the data over here. Chart title. You can write the chart title based on the question paper. If the question paper talk about any of the title, you can mention. Now in our this area, we have to select and see what all the access title we have. So the access title, you can select this entire thing and you can give the temperature. So I'm just giving the temperature over here. And in this area, I am just writing here the month. Let's select it and you can write month. Once you are done with this work, you have to check that particularly here on this area, you have applied the data level. Data level will be going to show the benchmark on that area. Now select the, this particular entire thing, go over here, go to the format access area you will be able to see that data is showing over here in right side. You can keep it minimum to the zero as per your question paper, maximum to 32. Now in major area, as per the question paper, if it says four or five, depending upon that, you have to change it out. Once you get the values, just click cross over here. You are good to go with your the particularly the chart type. You can select the chart type, copy from here and go to your the file area where you want to apply it like over here you can just paste and then that will be appear something like this way you can just make it a little bigger and adjust it how the way you want it so as per the paper if it says that you need a print something like that so you just you can click on file and print area you can see it is appearing on that area the same way if you need a two page or the two slides print then what you need is click over here then you have the two slides print so you can check it is appearing in one page but two slides now one last point that's remain over here that is once you have applied the all the settings so let's say suppose you require to change the bullet type right so you are over here select the particular type of the bullet now over here the type of bullet which you want to apply, select over here, click on the bullet numbers area. Now in this, you have to customize it. Select the customized type of the line which you want to apply, select it and click OK. Once you are done, just click OK and you are good to go with your work. 
So save your work, print it out. If you need the same format, you can click over here. Handouts loud, slide and you can see we have page 1, 2 and 3. So that's what the entire total video is all about. So thank you so much for watching this video.